Hi learners. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me for another math session. So this is the we have already completed one chapter and this is the first part of the next chapter uh, which is called the introduction to algebra. So let's start. So before starting that uh, topic uh, or introduction or to algebra, I have just uh, uh, I have given here the glossary because this uh, chapter contains like you know, many terms. Okay, so we should be aware of the terms first. And many of them we might be knowing it, but that will be a brush up to all those who know. But uh, let us go for the terms first, and then start with the exercise. Okay, so here you will in terms like whether for the glossary one, you will not get uh, the detailed uh, explanation on it. But uh, once uh, you start with the exercise, there the things are going to be more clear. Okay, so now let us start with the first term. That is first thing you should know what is algebra. Okay, so now what we can say over here that is it is a branch of mathematics dealing with letters numbers and symbols that is forming the um, mathem mathematical relations so now let us see what do we mean by these letters numbers and symbols now let us take this one equation okay so now uh, here you can see that is uh, letters means here the letter is x okay so uh, here in place of this x it can be any letter from a to z okay so of course from a to z anything you call it as a letter only so we have the letter over here so it is satisfied the, uh, the condition okay now the it says the number so we have a number over here okay and of course this is a symbol symbol means one is equal to is one of the symbol okay so what we can say 2x plus 6 is equal to 16 is an algebraic equation okay hope you got it so now we will go for the next term that is called the variable and this is very important again a symbol used to represent unknown number so it is also denoted by letters letter so you must have seen in many questions here that uh, what is the value of x what is the value of a and so on isn't it you must have come across that one so that is like we had what is that called that is called the unknown okay we have to find out value of it so again that also we are going to see in the exercise here just i'm giving you an equation to show how it looks like so now if i write a 5x plus 3 is equal to 9 so when you solve this 5x plus 3 is equal to 9 okay so 5x will be 9 minus 3 because why again i will tell you later why that minus is that is a when we are doing the exercise if this goes this is plus 3 it goes to the other side it becomes minus so how will you write here 5x plus 3 is equal to 9 so 5x is equal to 9 minus 3 and 5x will be 6 so x is going to be 6 divided by 5 and why we divide this because this is a multiplication so when the, it is changing the place the 5 is changing the place it is going to get divided okay so that we are not going to see deep in it right now Okay, so I'll show you later. Now this 5x is 9. So now it, said, it says that we got the value of x, right? Now, so x is the variable over here. Okay, so now again, the next one says, the next term says that expression. So now what does this say? Mathematical phrase without, without, huh? this is very important, without an equal sign. Okay, now can you see this one? It says 3x plus 7. So it says this is an because it doesn't have is equal to something, right? It doesn't have it. So that when we can say this is an algebraic expression, okay? And now, because you should know what is the difference between the expression and the equation, that is very important. So you have to just write all again and again, I keep on repeating in my videos that do write all these things uh, in your notes, okay? So like we have to keep on devising it. Now here, this is an equation, so statement asserting equality between expressions, okay? So now uh, in this equation, this is without equal to sign and this is with, this is equality. So 4x minus 12, minus 8 is equal to 12. So this is the equal sign, okay? So this is called an algebraic equation and this is called the algebraic expression. Hope you got it, okay? Here yeah, there is an additional is equal to and then there's a number void. Okay, so this both, you have to know the difference. Now the next says that that is a coefficient. Now the coefficient means it is a numerical factor of a term. Now uh, when I write, suppose this one 3x, right? So now there is a variable along along with uh, 3. So uh, suppose somebody asks you, uh, what is the coefficient of x? Okay, so you have to say 3. So the number 
coefficient means that is a number we can say. So three is the coefficient of it. Okay. The next one says that that is the term. So seeing it is a single mathematical expression in an algebraic expression. Okay. So now see here. Actually, uh, when I write two x plus uh, six, so we can say this plus is a separator. It can be plus, it can be minus. So we have to see before this plus what is there and after plus what is there. So that are the terms. It can be uh, still something should be a, either a plus or minus, and some some number will be here. Then we can say there are three terms: two x, six, and suppose now here is eight. Suppose anything it can be. Uh, so we can say two x plus three or uh, six plus eight. That are, that are the terms means. It depends like how the uh, expression is. Okay, so now what we can say this two x is one term and this is the other term. So two x and six are terms. Hope you got it. So now let us look for the constant one. So constant means what does the constant say? That is term without a variable. Without a variable, this is very important. So when we write here two x plus three. So what we can see over here. So here we cannot. Uh, this is one term and this is the second term. So this is term. There are two terms. Okay, we can understand. But we cannot consider this because it has a variable. These three is alone. That doesn't have a variable. So three is a constant. Okay. So now we will go for the next one. That says the algebraic operation. So basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and that is the division. That is a simple one. So three plus two. Suppose I write here that involves the algebraic operation of what? Addition, of course. Okay. So that's easy. Now we'll go for the main, main important also one. This is a term that is the arithmetic uh, sequence. So what we can see here: sequence with a constant difference. Uh, you know the difference, okay? Difference means uh, this, uh, whenever you subtract it, isn't it? So now uh, look at it between terms. Now when I write here 2, 5, 8, 10, 11. So when you see here, when you do 5 minus 2, so that is going to be 3. 8 minus 5, that is going to be 3. Uh, 11 minus 8, that is going to be 3. Means what happened here? This 3 remains constant, isn't it? So this is an arithmetic uh, sequence we can see when that difference is the it remains constant. So what uh, with this one, with, we have a difference of what we can write? Three. Hope you got with the arithmetic sequence. Then there is one more term that is called the geometric sequence. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here, a sequence with a constant ratio. There was difference means where we are going to subtract. Here ratio means, you know, when I write here three is to five, that can be also written as five by uh, three okay so now what are we going to do we are going to see the how the ratio is now we have suppose we'll take these two numbers okay so what are we going to do we know that is six divided by two that is three again when we go for these two numbers 18 divided by six that is going to be three again we go this two numbers 54 divided by 18 that is going to be three and so on this is what you can see the ratio of all these numbers is the same so we can call it as a geometric sequence Okay, so common ratio we have this as three. So now this, can you see the difference between the arithmetic sequence and the geometric sequence? Here the difference is constant, here the ratio is constant. Hope you got it. Okay, now we will look for the next term that is called the linear equation. So this also is one of the most important term. So uh, this, uh, you know, algebra is one of the like most, uh, like we say that is the heart of maths, we can say the algebra that is also it has got more of weightage, isn't it? So this is a very important topic. So I have started with the glossary first. Okay. So hope you are good. And then the, I, of course, I'm going to do the exercise part of it, but you should know the terms first. Okay. Now the, when we say the linear, linear means it is like a straight. Okay. When you draw, draw suppose this is a graph, we say, which is the linear graph means it should be a straight line. Okay. Now, but uh, now here we are not going to see about that thing. Like we are going to see what does it mean first. So equation of the first degree. So first degree means when I write here two X. So this X says that there is one over here in exponents. If you have done exponents, you will see that. Or if not, we will see that chapter later on. So uh, we don't usually write X anything rest to one. That is going to be the same. Huh? So this is where you say, this is the, 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 what, so actually what we can see that is the one. So when I write here two X square, so what does this say? This X says the, uh, two means that is the second degree. Okay. So here when it is like, can you see here this? We have only X is single. 
Okay, so this is a linear equation. 2x minus 2 is equal to 6 is a linear equation. Okay, now let us go for the, this also again, it's an important one that is a quadratic equation. So here we say of the second degree, there what did we say? That is of the equation of the first degree. This is of the second degree. So as I said, now can you look at the highest degree over here? This is 2. Hope you got it. See here, this is x square, then is x, and then then is a constant term. And actually, for the quadratic equation, of, uh, uh, you have the general form of the equation as ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. That also you have to remember. This is the general form of the quadratic equation, okay? So now here, a means, uh, now here you cannot see anything, but actually there is 1 over here. So a is 1, huh? b is going to be 4. And C is nothing but you will take along with the sign that is minus 6. Hope you got it. Okay. So this also we will see later. So this is the equation. This is a quadratic equation. Okay. So now let us go for the uh, next one. Next term that is called an inequality. So again in inequality, what does this say? That mathematical sentence indicates a relationship between expression. Means now uh, here uh, this is the expression. Okay, so what does this say? This is the inequality sign. Okay, so 2x is greater than 12. Okay, now the factoring. Factoring also, all are important terms. So now factoring also, that is the breaking down and expression into its factors. Factors. Now see here, uh, now if I consider this one. Okay, this is an expression. So this are break, uh, it gives x plus 3 and x minus 3. Because uh, this is nothing but this also is a perfect square and this also is a perfect square. So the this is going to be what the factors of this are going to be. This is actually, it can be also written as x square minus 3 square. So whenever we have the formula for this one, uh, the, that is going to be like uh, this is a square minus b square. This is the general form of the equation formula. So that is going to be a plus b and a minus b. This is what is the formula not made by me, but it is a standard form. Okay, that is made by somebody. Okay, so now you have to remember what is that? A square minus b square is a plus b and a minus b. So this formula you have to note down. So whenever we say how find out the factors of it, so means what does this say? Uh, this is a and this is b and this is again a and this is b. And this is the minus sign over here, okay? Because whenever this is in the form of a square minus b square. Hope you got it, okay? So these are the factors of it. Now the like terms. Like means, what do you mean by like? Like means the same. What do you mean by like? Like means the same, okay? So when two or more algebraic terms have the same variables, okay? And um, again, here what we have to see, even the powers, powers of the variables are also the same, then the terms are called as like terms, okay? Now, uh, see the vacancy here, this is A over here, this is also A here, this B here, this also B. We are not going to look at the number that is called the coefficient, okay? That can be different, but only we have to look, what did they say, with the same variables, and they didn't say the same numbers, okay? The variables is important. Again, what we have to look at that, not only if it is here 6 A B. And the year is 75a square b. So these are not the like terms. We have to look at the powers as well. Can you see? This is also a square and this is also a square. Okay. And this is also b and this is also b. Hope you got it. So the power, this power is very important. Okay. So it says the powers of the variables also it should be the same. Now the unlike terms. Unlike means, what do you mean in simple way? That is different. Okay, so when two or more algebraic expression, no, this term, sorry, have different variables, we can or same variable. Okay, it can be the same variable. I'll uh, later on tell you what it is. With different, but the powers can be different over here. Then the terms are called as unlike. Now, can you look at here? Uh, this is, uh, of course, we are not going to look at the coefficient. Now, this is a square and this is a, isn't it? So even the you know, powers are different. Okay, variables actually, uh, this, uh, the, the, this are the same uh, here, but uh, here the powers are, here the, the, the powers are different, okay? And uh, here again we can see b and this is b square, so these are called the unlike terms, okay? So now the next term that is the monomial. Monomial means mono. What do you mean by mono means one? Okay, 
So always remember monam is one. So expression consisting of what we can say only one term is known as monomial. Okay. So now can you see here three x five y fifteen a b c because what we can see after three x we don't have any other term, isn't it? So three x is alone. We don't have anything over here. Same with five y. Same with this one. So they are called the monomial. Okay. Now the binomial. By by means two. Okay, so here, what does this say? An expression consisting of two terms. When it should be only two. Okay, so that is called as binomial. Now, can you see here? Uh, this, as I said, plus is the either it can be plus or minus is a separator. This is one term, and this is the other term. So here there are two terms. Now, when you consider this one again, here there are two terms. This is the separator. Okay, again when you take this one, these are the two terms. So these are called the binomials. Again, tri trinomial. Tri means three. Expression consisting of three terms is known as trinomial. Can you see this expression? One, two, three, three terms. Same if you consider here one, two, three, and so on. Okay, so you have understood. Hope you are understood with the monomial, binomial, and the trinomial. Now this polynomial. Polynomial means it can be more than one. It can be any number of terms. That will be more than one. That is called a, a polynomial. Okay. Uh, so what we get expression consists of a one or more than one term is known as polynomial. Okay, so now it can be a three x plus four y z plus this is more than three, of course. Okay, yeah. So these are called the polynomials. Okay. So this was something about uh, um, today's uh, glossal part of the introduction of the uh, no, uh, no, um, that is the introduction to algebra. Okay. So the next uh, the exercise directly from the same book. I will start uh, in the next in my next video. Okay. So hope you have got the terms and uh, do again uh, what I as I told you that note down these points in your the I mean the terms in your. Notes, okay. That is very important. So you should know what it is before I start the uh, that main chapter about it. Okay. So please do like and subscribe to this channel so you get the notification of the other part of this chapter and many more. Thank you.